How's it going, everybody? Rob here, back with another video. And, well, we're going to be doing another reaction. This time, however, and in terms of stuff like this, I've been trying ever so hard to kind of stay away from content like this, and especially in terms of reaction. But I've been slowly and... I might be a little bit late to the party. I might I might decide to like, just push this video, but I might be a little bit late to the party because uh, we have uh, situations with particular content creators being, you know, apparently really scummy. And in terms of, uh, I guess, behavior, acting very predatory in nature. Um, and I've noticed as time has progressed, especially in terms of dealing with, um, to try to be friendly to YouTube's terms of service, I'm gonna call them the, the P-Bears. Um, people have been taking, taking action into their own hands, especially when you have, um, these sick, twisted perverts going out of their way to contact kids to post pictures of themselves to minors, to kids, and then try to meet said kids for sex. So this is a compilation of people taking more to the point, people taking action against predators. Couple, of, I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'll pause it when I, when I mention that I've seen things or like, if I've already seen something, but I must say, like, especially with like current, like again, with, with some of the recent stuff going on, um, you have people that are actually again taking matters into their own hands, where. In some situations, you have people that work with the police, other people who don't, and they basically bait these uh, pea bears to show up in a public space, so that way, when they catch them, have all the information, and confront them, they could decide to uh, beat the ever-living crap out of them if they wanted to. So again, this is a compilation of, of people taking matters into their own hands and I'm kind of curious to see like some of it and also discuss other things so without further delay let's uh, go go ahead and get right into this okay, I'm kind of wondering if I need to turn this down Grab my phone. Oh. Why'd you thought? Why'd you get me a thirteen? Oh. Why'd you get me a thirteen-year-old boy? Ooh, they they basically tried to stop him with the cart. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. This boy was trying. This man was trying to meet a thirteen-year-old boy for sex. They're book. They're booking it. Now, I'll, I'll, also, I want to add something. Is that at this point? There, there's a debate too, of whether um, that people should just let it be a topic or a, a problem for the police, or if people should be allowed to take it into their own hands. And is this justified for people? Again, these these people who are sick and tired of uh, the pea bears um, preying on kids, and eventually, you know, just kind of getting the smackdown on these guys for being um, disgusting, degenerate fucking perverts. If I, sound, if I sound a little bit on edge, I do apologize. I have my own personal thoughts about these, these individuals. Um, people like this who prey on kids Again, if you're gonna see if you're gonna see one side of me in this video, is in terms of these particular people, 
it's 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 sickening. It, it is sickening, especially when like you have some of these people that do what they do. They get their rocks off. They hurt kids, and then some of them they get away with it, thinking that nothing's gonna ever get to them. So I'm gonna say this, especially with this whole debate of like. I don't agree to violence, but at the same time, I just, these kind of people are, 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 are sick and are honestly are danger, are danger to any community that they're in. Ooh. I gotta ask, how tall is the dude? Like the dude holding the camera, because he's gotta have a little bit of height. If he like this guy is probably like what, five foot? At least the guy on the ca in the camera right now, standing in front of the the thing, the guy that's a possible pee bear. Like I've gotta wonder if he's like five foot. The guy that's like holding the camera is probably like what six, maybe. Ooh. You said maybe. That's not Oh they okay, so here's another one. Okay. So I guess they're confronting another guy. He's like all saying, Oh they I guess they caught caught him with saying he might he was maybe seeing a minor. I have to affirmative or disavow. You keep fucking Ooh. pointing that finger at me, child predator. And you He just yeah, no. He, he, like, went right into, like, just smacking the dude. Go get your shit ringed. Oh. Dude is, dude is in shock. Like, dude is in utter, like, like, he is stunned by that hit. Like, he doesn't know what to do. Okay. Now, maybe isn't a good answer to try to pick up with little, pick up little boys, is it? Is maybe a good answer? We got a child predator trying to take off here. Oh no. Oh he's they're booking it. They're booking it. Oh. Trying to pick up little kids. Oh, I missed. Wait, he why he get turned around? Oh. Dude's asking for help and the and Oh my gosh. And the this video is almost over, but I have a feeling nobody had any sympathy for this guy. Or probably like wondering what the hell was going on. There's a child predator in Cohoes, New York. He like okay, so yeah, in slow mo, guy pushes him. He runs right into the table, slides down on the um, on the ground into the uh, into the checkout. Jeez. Okay, we got the next one. Okay, so inmate Steve Sanderson tells how he killed uh, CM cellmate. Okay, I think I've seen a little bit about this one. So, it's only a minute, but I'm going to go into uh, talk about this for a second. I have seen this one. Um, there was a video that was uh, kind of popped up where this guy, I'm assuming he was in a courtroom and for the uh, murder or of his cellmate who was a uh, a pea bear and long story short the guy kept kind of like discussing like boasting or justify trying to justify why he did what he did to the kid and the guy and the guy in question uh, Steve Sanderson uh, didn't want to hear it or was getting sick and tired of the guy and he just upset uh unalives him so anyways let's go and watch this how do you wish to plead to the second count of uh, murder in the second guilty yes sir and doing so freely and voluntarily i mean he basically just said guilty i mean he know he knew what he was doing yes doing so because you're already guilty. Uh, yes sir All right. the reason i killed him was because he was a child molester now, from what I from what I've heard, especially like you have like 
Yo, uh, CM, P-Bears. Um, they... From what I've heard, is once they get into prison... And, you know, the other inmates find out that you're that kind of person. That you're, you're, uh, you're into little kids. That's it. That, you're done. Because either people are going to... Basically, either they're going to beat the ever-living crap out of you, or just straight unalive you. So, and it, 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 it's, again, I, I don't agree with the violence, but it's better, it's, it, it's especially with, you know, in these individuals, these these pea bears, as I'm going to call, keep calling them, um, they are not safe to have in our communities. They're not. It's especially for like what the the tip the type of verges that they have. They they it, it, honestly, it, it's. What, what they do to kids is monstrous. It really is. But you did in fact kill him. Oh, sure. And you intended to kill him. Oh, sure. Yes. Well, if it's all right, I'd like to tell you where it started. Go ahead. All right. Well, we were, he was my bonky, and I had found out that he was in prison for uh, child molestation. Really bad case. So um, that night he was trying to justify why he did it, and I just told him to be quiet and he would have to leave in the morning to find a new cell so yeah so this guy was even like he was even bunking with with this guy with uh mr steve uh sanderson and the guy wouldn't shut up about what he did but he continued to talk about it and try to justify it so he was a little bit bigger than me so i got down and i hit him in his face a few times and when he fell I wrapped a cord around his neck and I took his life jeez man okay hold on so P-Bear comes to me a 14 year old girl then F's up white John in grocery store I thought she said she was 14 Corey, basically, your co-worker was coming up here to meet an underage girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh, did they make him call his employer? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's bad. That's, like, that's an instant, like, you're done. That's an instant you're done. Especially when people are finding out that you did, yeah, you, you're, you're doing that. You have those urges. Oh, the guy just like went right up behind him and freaking smacked him. Oh, just blindsided him. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh no! Oh come on, dude. No. I, I mean, let's be honest here. Between between the pea bear and the guy with the beard, um, dude, he he looks a little bit bulkier. Than the other dude. How many more videos I have on? Hold on, I want to double check. Because I got a couple videos. Um, I got three more videos after this. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, man. Oh! Oh! Just throwing blows. Oh, gosh. Oh! 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 And so just we're so just who we're so just so we're clear, so just so you guys know, so I'm assuming, so, I'm, I, I, just wild guess, like hunch, whatever. So I think it's I think it's clear that the guy with the black, uh, I'm assuming black jacket, khakis, that's the guy that's the pea bear. Um, the guy with the beard, with the uh, gray hoodie or black hoodie. And I'm assuming shorts and seeing a little bit of his underwear there. Um, 
that's I'm assuming working with the guys that that called this guy uh, this guy out. Ooh, he's got him in a headlock, or I think it's a headlock. Oh. Ooh. You you can see yeah, I could be wrong, but you can see a little bit of uh of marks on his face. Okay. Uh, P Bear gets punched in the face after being called out in the middle of the store. Okay, uh, okay, it's this guy right here, the guy with the the white hoodie. It seems the guy that has the white T-shirt is the one that's confronting. The guy with the uh, white hoodie is the one that that did it. That is him. Right here. Then you sent to a girl. Oh! I'm assuming that's a random bystander. <laughs> oh! Dude, come on. He just said, like, I'm not weird. Dude, you're trying to hook up with a fucking kid. You're a fucking weirdo. Oh, my gosh. And it, you know what? And here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I You know what? I'm going to say this. Go on... Go on webcam for a second. I want to switch over to webcam for a second. Because this needs to be said. Because you have these individuals. These individuals that, you know, try to act like they're doing nothing wrong. That what they, that they, that they're doing with them trying to get to, get you know, you know, get in touch with minors is okay. They think that that is okay. But in reality, they don't realize how, especially with, depending on, I'm assuming this guy's like, what, in his 20s, 30s, maybe 25, maybe, being generous. Dude, there's a huge, major freaking gap between you and a 14-year-old girl. And on top of that, on top of that, it's, again, it's, it's really fucking weird. And in the end, like, what happens if this guy actually got his way? Where he does meet up with this girl. She doesn't want to get involved with him further than, you know, meeting him. And then he forces her to do something. Or he forces himself onto her. That scars the kid. And this guy just continues to live his life as if nothing ever fucking happened. Individuals like this, I'm going to go back to a reaction. Individuals like this, like the guy in the white, t uh, white uh, hoodie. Individuals like this are fucking disgusting. I know I sound very strongly about that, and there's a reason why. I'm not going to go about, I'm not going to go into it in this video, but... What these people do, they, again, they act like they're not doing anything wrong. They act on their base fucking urges. And their urges are for fucking kids. It's disgusting. It's horrible. And, and in the end, if they get their way, they end up harming and destroying the lives of the children that they affect. And this guy wants to claim that he's not a weirdo. 
that he's not weird. Fuck off. Just fuck off. Okay, the next one. Uh, child or uh, P Bear smacked twice, meeting 13 year old uh, 13 year old boy. Fun. Wait, second time? Wait, wait, wait. Did they just say this is the second time this guy tried to do this? Oh my gosh. Oh, right in the, that was, that sounded like a hard fucking smack. Oh my gosh. That, that sounded, that sounded really freaking bad. Oh my gosh. Second time you've done this? Okay. That was a quick one. And I think bro, this one's a quick one, too. Right now, bro. Okay. P Bear gets socked by Stranger. So I'm going to take. Okay, it's too early. I can't tell which one's the one. Alright, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, something tells me it's this guy right here. The guy with the uh, the drip T-shirt with the hundred dollar bill, like Ben Franklin, like hundred dollar bill shirt. By the way, that is, I don't know how I feel about that shirt. I don't know if I would class like what it. What, somebody, I, I gotta ask, what is drip? <laughs> I know I sound old, but come on. You do need help. Like, oh. Just out of the blue, freaking socked him. Oh, and that sounded like it hurt. I'm, you know, I'm gonna play the freaking. It needs to be played. Damn! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounded like it hurt. Holy crap. Was... Yeah, that I mean that would that be fair to call the police then. Um, fuck, man. But let's go ahead and switch over to webcam again. But um. Dude, like I said before, this kind of stuff is just freaking insane. And unfortunately, I mean, there are certain individuals that feel like, you know, things aren't getting done in terms of dealing with these types of individuals. These people who have a sickness. And unfortunately, a lot of them are getting away with it. So... I'm like, I'm trying to think like as, as interesting as it was to watch that, I can't agree with the violence towards these guys, but something does need to be done. Like individuals who are, who are proven, like absolutely proven to be, to be freaking, uh, you know, uh, P bears, uh, predators, so on. Um, they need to be removed from society, like put in jail because those individuals are honestly, it's, it, they're, they're, they're sickness. They're individuals that are just a harm to our kids, harm to anyone's kids. And by the end, the ones who are made, uh, uh, the ones who are affected the most are the kids that are targeted. 
because unfortunately they have to uh, those who end up getting involved with sickos like the people we just saw they're the ones that end up having to deal with the emotional trauma dread fear and all of the freaking like maelstrom of emotions of almost re either like thinking about or reliving what they experienced from these people so you know what? i'm gonna say this in terms of the video or in terms of the videos what are your guys' thoughts do you feel that some of the things that were done were justified or do you think it should be left to the authorities love to hear what you guys have to say for now though i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here thank you guys so much for watching truly appreciate it. if you guys can please hit like comment share subscribe all the good stuff if you guys want to follow us on social media links are in the description down below as well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast with that being said this is rob Novakis signing off have a good one take care and i will see you guys next video Thank you.